Have you ever been leveling your job and went down that entire list of roulettes only to get to that dreaded main story quest? Some of you may not know this, but back during the glory days of 14, you could skip cutscenes and have Praetorium done in like 10 15 minutes. But now, so Sprouts are able to enjoy their Realm Reborn experience, the devs have opted to make those cutscenes unskippable. At first, we were mad. I mean, we were big mad. But there was something we were all looking over. No, not the extra experience or tombstone bonus. That's nothing compared to the bigger picture. What I'm talking about is no longer do you have to feel guilty for playing video games. What do I mean by that? Think about it. Praetorium is still as easy as ever. Fights will last a couple of minutes, at most, and then you're dumped into a series of cutscenes. And to prove that, I'm going to do a run of Praetorium and then accomplish my to-do list point out if at any point you feel like you need more time, just go ahead and right click someone like they were an NFT and just follow them. Uh, the first cutscene isn't that long, but it does give us enough time to knock the first item off our to-do list. Time to finally clean up this mess in my room. The next cutscene isn't until after another three minutes or so of fighting, maybe less. Once you see Daddy Gaius, though, you just know it is time for the next item on that to-do list. Right now, we only have enough time to do one full art piece, so let's get to work. Okay, so when I make an art piece, I like to start off simple. I'll just do the face, the rough outline of the body, and then I have a neat trick where I like to just paint the whole pic. Just paint everything, you know. So after I do the paint process, we'll zoom out a little. And then there we go. We have a full piece and all before the cutscene could finish going. Now we'll just fight this boss and oh, would you look at the time? It's already another cutscene. Cutscene isn't very long, but it does give you enough time to do a shit post on Twitter or something. Now for this part, if you want to be extra sneaky and get a bit more time, then you can just go whoops. And after you go to that elevator and everyone's getting on their magic tech armor, you just gained yourself a ton more time to get what you need to do done. Don't worry about bosses because once they start that fight, you can just teleport straight to it. Now time to go get a workout. I don't know about you, but after I work out, I get extra hungry. I'm gonna go to the kitchen to whip something up. We can pretend like we're a cooking channel for just a moment. Seventy-eight percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. <laughs> so after a good meal, I like to let the food settle by playing a piano piece. I don't know any fancy Italian terms, so mozzarella, enjoy. And one thing I personally like to do while I'm running Praetorium is record videos. And while this very last cutscene plays, what else can we do but have civil discourse about video games online? Fuck you, first of all. Look. If Baby Seal can understand me, you can. I'm sorry, I only speak American here. Yeah. I would explain why your videos flunk. Oh, for f**k's sake. What? It's this guy. It's, it's, uh, fish fried kitten or whatever. Fried cat. Uh-huh. And with that, congratulations everybody! Not only did we get some sick experience points, but we also had the most productive day of our lives, and we can do this every day. Isn't that great? As always, thank you so much for watching, uh, especially if you made it to the end. I mean, good on you. you, you suffered through my content. Hey, I'm glad, I appreciate you, I love you, and if you love me, or not, consider checking out my Patreon, where you can be like this longtime supporter and fan, the real Nanaki. He's been gassing me up every video I have, just making me feel great, and then now making me feel even better because I feel like I'm one step closer to doing this full time. Well, many steps, but you know what I mean. So again, thanks for watching, and hey, you have a damn good day, or night.
depending on when it is. You you just have a damn good one. Love you. Uh-huh.